So far, we have learned how to insert a document in a collection and how to fetch documents from a collection in MongoDB. Now, in this lecture, let's go ahead and let's learn how to update an existing document in a collection. Let's switch to MongoDB shell. So, currently, we are in the SampleDB database. And in this SampleDB database, we have this customer collection and this products collection. Now, let's go ahead and let's query this customer collection. For that, we can say DB dot customer, which is the collection name dot find if i press enter here we have all the documents of the customer collection now from this document list let's say i want to update this document where name is steve and for this document i want to change the age to 30 and i want to change the gender to female let's see how we can do that so first of all i'm going to clear this shell here and since we want to update a document in the customer collection on the customer collection we can call update one method so this update one method updates a single document which matches the given filter and if multiple documents matches the filter it will only update the first matching document so to this update one method first we need to pass a filter and for the filter we are going to pass this name key and this name should be equal to Steve and then we also need to specify what do we want to update for that we also need to pass a second argument this is also going to be an object and inside this object the first thing which we need to use is we need to use this dollar set operator so this dollar set is an operator in mongodb then we need to use a colon and to this dollar set we need to assign a document and in this document we can specify what we want to update and with what value we want to update so in the document where this name is steve we want to update the age property and we want to set it to 30 and we also want to update the gender property and we want to set it to female so if i go ahead and if i press enter you can see one document has been modified now if i go ahead and if i query the customer collection you will notice that that document where the name is steve the gender has changed to female and the age has changed to 30. Earlier, the age was 27 and gender was male. Now, in this document list, we have two documents where the name is John. So what will happen if I try to update a document where the name is John using update one method? Let's see that. Let's clear the console again on the customer collection. Let's again call this update one method. And to this update for method, let's pass a filter. So for that, we can specify a set of curly braces and inside that we can specify the filter. So here the filter is name should be John. So this is our filter. Now we also need to specify with what we want to update the document. For that, we use another set of curly braces. Inside that we use dollar set operator and to this dollar set operator, we assign another document. And inside this, we specify the properties which we want to update. Let's say for this, document where the name is john i only want to update the age property and i want to set this age property to 50. now in this customer collection we have two documents where this name is john but since we are using this update one method this update one method is only going to update one document it is going to update the first document which satisfies this criteria so if i go ahead and if i press enter you will notice that this modified count is one that means one document has been modified now if we go ahead and if we query this customer collection and if we go to the first document where the name is john you will see that this age has been changed to 50 but the second document where this name is john there this age is still 32 it has not changed so the update one method updates a single document which matches the given filter if multiple documents match that filter it will only update the first matching document let's clear the console now what if we try to update a field which does not exist in the document for example let's go ahead and let's query this customer collection again and in this customer collection we have this document where its name is sarah and for this document we have this name field we have this gender field but we don't have the age field so what will happen if i try to update the age field for this document let's see that let me clear the console first and let's go ahead and let's call this update one method one more time 
okay and here for the filter let's say this name should be Sara and there we want to set the age to 15 but just now we saw that the document where this name is Sara there we don't have this age field so if I go ahead and if I press enter you will see that one document has been modified now let's go ahead and let's query this customer collection one more time and let's check the document where the name is Sara so you will see that this document where this name is Sara earlier we did not had this age property this age field but after using this update one method when we tried to update this age field of that document since the age field was not existing in that document MongoDB added that age field and it assigned that age field with this value as you can see here so if the field which you are trying to update does not exist in the filtered document that field will be added in that document with the specified value all right so using update one method we can update a single document at a time but what if we want to update multiple documents in one go for that we have another method called update many so let me clear the console here let's query the customer collection one more time and here let's say we want to update all those documents where this name is John and there we want to set this gender to unknown now here if we use update one it will only update the first document which matches the filter but here we want to update all the documents which matches the filter for that we can use update many so let's clear the console and on the customer collection let's go ahead and let's use update many and just like update one this update many also takes the first argument as the filter so here let's specify the filter and for the filter let's say name should be John and for the second argument we need to specify another set of curly braces there we use this dollar set operator then a colon and to this we assign a document and inside this document we specify the field and a value for that field with which we want to update it so here we want to update the gender field for all the documents which satisfies this filter and there we want to set the gender to unknown and now let's go ahead and let's press enter so you will see that the modified count is 2 now if we go ahead and if we query this customer collection and if we check the documents where the name is John you will see that the gender has changed to unknown and for this document also where this name is John the gender has changed to unknown so we can use update many method to update multiple documents in one go which matches the given filter now what will happen if we use update many and if we try to update a field which does not exist in the document for example both of these documents where this name is John it has this name age and gender field so what will happen if I try to update the country field for these documents where the name is John let's see that let me clear the console and let's call this update many one more time on this customer collection so here the filter is going to be same so we want to filter all those documents where the name is John and there in those documents we want to set the country field so let's specify that field name and we want to update this country field to maybe UK now if we go ahead and if we press enter you will see that the two documents have been modified let's go ahead and let's query this customer collection and you will notice that for those documents where the name is John a new field called country has been added and it has this value UK so for this document also where this name is John a new field called country has been added and it has been assigned with the string value UK let's clear this shell so to update documents in a collection we have two methods update one and update many the update one method updates a single document which matches the given filter and if multiple documents matches the filter it will only update the first matching document on the other hand update many method updates all the documents which matches the given filter and if the field which you are trying to update does not exist in the filtered document that field will be newly added in the document and it will be assigned with the specified value this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day